Aikens probably had his first drawing lessons from his father, a professional calligrapher and teacher of penmanship at Friends Central School in Philadelphia. Here, Benjamin Aikens (1818–1899) is shown engaged in copying a document in an old-fashioned copper plate script. While the serious and affectionate portrayal of an aging craftsman is saturated with Rembrandtesque eloquence and nostalgia, Aikens's delineation of his father's head and hands reveals his skills of observation and description. Benjamin Aikens's wise investments gave his son lifelong financial security. Thomas Aikens' father, Benjamin, was a writing master who earned enough money from calligraphy to support Thomas throughout his son's life. However, to think that this portrait is just a tender portrayal of an elderly father misunderstands the role of an artist. Ordinary painters copy reality as we do when we take family snapshots. Artists, note the different term, do not. They are poets and there is under the illusion of reality a greater meaning pertaining to their own activity as an artist. Here Benjamin Aikens, using pen on paper, is an alter ego for his son as poetic draftsman and painter. Thomas Aikens was born in 1844 and raised in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He was a teacher and a painter. As an artistic muse, Aikens enjoyed painting people in action around Philadelphia, especially his friends and family. Most of Aikens' works were oil paintings on canvas, although he also did sculptures into photographs. Aikens was fixated on anatomically correct portrayals of those whom he painted. Some of his works included Between Rounds, The May Morning in the Park, and The Pear Ord Shell. All of such paintings reflected the realism and naturalism styles in his art. Aikens is well known for painting the Gross Clinic, which is now considered his masterpiece. Painted in 1875, the Gross Clinic depicts a surgical demonstration by the renowned surgeon Dr. Samuel Gross.